Hey guys, welcome to your uh, love reading for Scorpio. What are they hiding from you? What are they not telling you? You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. We're going to take a look at someone that you're currently dealing with or the person that's on your mind. We're going to see what this person's hiding from you, what they're not telling you. And then we'll finish off the read to see if this person will come clean towards you. So, uh, even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody. So apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, uh, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so let's get started. Um, Scorpio, tell me about Scorpio here. Tell me about Scorpio. In love, the person that Scorpio is dealing with or the person that Scorpio has on their mind. What is this person not telling Scorpio? What is this person not telling Scorpio? What is this person not telling Scorpio? For November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. I feel like they're trying to... I feel like they're trying to dis distract themselves from you by, you know, hanging out with other people here, okay? Uh, it could be an indication that this person's working a lot. You know, I feel like they're taking a step back and distancing, themself, uh, distancing themselves from you, okay? It's like they're trying to figure out, like, you know, perhaps if they want to pursue you or not, Scorpio. Could be dealing with the Pisces here. You know, you might have Pisces in your chart. You are the King of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like this person could be dealing with a lot when it comes to work. Okay, uh, it seems like, I don't know, I feel like this person's trying to avoid hanging out with you. So I feel like this person has a boatload of excuses when it comes to why they can't hang out with you. It just seems like this person, you know, they're really focused on their career here. Okay, they're focusing on, you know, building a future here for themselves. But um, yeah, it just seems like they're trying to distance themselves from you. I don't even think this person's looking for anyone, you know, romantic. They're not looking for a relationship. It's just kind of like, you know, I'm looking for people to hang out with. But it could be a situation where you find this person super attractive and you want to pursue them. And that's when they sort of like pull their energy back, okay? The uh, Three of Pentacles, the Sun, Leo energy, this, uh, the Hangman, and the Six of Swords. What's happening is I feel like this person is working on focusing on their whole, own happiness. You know, and I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, this person could travel a lot for work too. So I feel like this person is never around, okay? And I feel like when this person is around, they're committing to other things. They're not they're not trying they're not even making an effort here with you. Okay? The uh, King of Wands and the Six of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. One of the things here is that maybe this person's deal still holds uh, still missing an ex or that you're dealing with an ex here. So that's why they're going back and forth. So I'm getting a bit of a rebound energy. Okay. So it's sort of like I'm feeling like you're the rebound. They're still missing an ex. They're thinking about an ex here. They want to be with an ex. And I feel like they're trying to use you as a distraction here. Okay. So the magician, Gemini Virgo. Uh, will this person come clean towards Scorpio? Will this person come clean towards Scorpio for November 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. Will this person come clean towards Scorpio? Will this person come clean towards Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. With a Knight of Wands and the Moon. With a Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. And the Devil here and the King of Cups. Knight of Wands and the Moon. Aries, Leo, Sag. I don't think this person will tell you. Yeah, we got the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like it's a situation that this person could have met you through traveling or something like that. Maybe this person was traveling for work. You guys met out at the bar. You guys started talking and there was like an instant connection. 
but I feel like this person's married. Yeah, this person is still dealing with somebody here. We have the devil and the king of cups. Yeah, this person's committed elsewhere here. This person is missing their ex or thinking about their ex. They're, you know, even though if there's separation here, there's still some sort of commitment here with them. Maybe they're taking a break or something like that. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Whatever this is, I feel like this is this is like this is like a fleeting temporary thing here because I don't I I, I I don't really see this person sticking around for a long time. Okay, Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands. We got the Moon and the Ten of Wands. This person has a big secret and they don't want to share it. They're going to keep it to themselves. Uh, it, it seems like this person's committed elsewhere. That's what I'm getting here. But this commitment that they're in, they're on a break with this other person or that there's trouble in paradise, okay? And I feel like, I, like I said, I feel like this person might have, you know, utilized this time to sort of like distract themselves a little bit here, okay? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? With the Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Kings of Queen of Wands. I feel like this Ace of Swords and this Queen of Swords is you. I feel like how you're going to find out is that your person's person will reach out to you and tell you. Okay, so I feel like that's how you're going to find out. Yeah, but it's so, you know, I mean, it could be a third, yeah, a third party situation. So yeah, this third party is going to reach out to you to let you know that they're hiding a secret from you. The uh, devil, we have the emperor, Aries energy, the king of cups, and the eight of swords here. They're so scared that you'll find out. Yeah, this person is freaking out that you will find out or that you have found out. I mean, this person has a big mess to clean up. And also, you know, Scorpio, I feel like you know that you don't want to get caught up in a mess like this because it can get very, 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 very messy. Okay. So yeah, it seems like it seems like your person's person will reach out to you to let you know that they're hiding the secret and the secret is that they're with me. Okay, because um, it seems like, you know, you know, it's it might be like sort of like this person comes to you on the weekends or something like that. Okay, they might drive to you or whatever that may be and they hang out with you and stuff like that. And, you know, I just feel like you feel like there was a there was an instant spark, but, you know, there are they are hiding stuff here from you. Okay, so um, so Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated if it did. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.